it's a, it's a 1969 Lotus Elan Plus 2. It was acquired in 1980. And um, I started looking for, for a sports car in 1979, my wife and I, and we looked at all sorts of cars all summer long. We, we were checking the newspaper, the Star, sports cars. And I looked at MGs and Triumphs and Jaguars. Jags were too expensive and the MGs and the Triumphs were supposedly reconditioned, but they were just ratty jobs. And uh, finally stopped looking in the fall. And then one day in January, Saturday morning paper, my wife says, um, hey Fred, here's one, what's a Lotus? And I said, Lotus? She, she kept right on looking, because eh? she knew I wanted the car. And uh, the window had passed for buying that year. And uh, my God, there was this 1969 Lotus, and all the guy wanted for it was, uh, I think it was 6,750 bucks. And that was kind of on the top end of my, my price range. Uh, he lived in Georgetown, so we phoned him, and drove out there. And uh, there was this beautiful car. It was never driven in the wintertime. And I said, that's for me. And that Christmas, uh, I got the driving suit. Uh, one of the kids bought me boots, and somebody else brought me gloves. And uh, it all, the package all came together. And by, uh, by April, I was at Mossport, my first race. Well, I've had to meet the uh, requirements of the uh, CASC and, and VARAC, the Vintage Automobile, Automobile Racing Association. And among those, those requirements is, a, is an, on, or an external kill switch. And that's this little button here that I've, that I've mounted inside uh, the, uh, the right-hand plenum. Um, that's supposed to be the cold air entry. And I've taken out the chrome and uh, made myself a little tin piece, and I've mounted that on the tin piece and run the cables into it, uh, the hot cable from the battery, which is mounted at the rear, and uh, attached the switch. Also two wires from the alternator, because even though we kill the battery, uh, the engine keeps running, driven by the alternator. So that switch kills everything. Uh, if for any reason the driver is unable to shut the, the engine off, uh, a course marshal or someone can do that for them. The other thing is uh, they want the hood open, just in case there's a fire inside there. And uh, so you're required to have external uh, hood openings. And then this works very, very simply. Uh, I've just taken advantage of the normal stuff that's there and uh, simply pull these little rings and she pops open. Uh, made them out of bicycle cables, bicycle brake cables and uh, a couple of uh, key rings. Well, since the roll bar went in, uh, some of the people see it, the kids see it, um, and they, they, they're sitting at the stoplight going boom, 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 uh, wanting to egg me on, and I gotta say, I'm, I'm really tempted. Uh, when I was younger, uh, before I had the roll bar, I used, to, I used to react to those challenges, but not anymore. I smile at them, you know, and have a nice day.